Welcome everyone. My name is Alaska B1 and as you can see in my workflow, I have DeepSeek here and I think it's so, sometimes it's better to use DeepSeek because it can help you uh, make your work easily when you write a point. Okay, let me explain you. Uh, when we want to create a, a agent, it's very easy now. Okay, if I go there and create here, okay, it's very easy to create an agent. Okay, you just need to go to this, okay, and just add an agent, and this is it. Okay, you have an agent, and you have to add an LLM, anyone you want. Okay, DBT, like that, you create a, a new credential, and you have your agent. Okay, now if you don't chat, okay, and say something high, it will replay you, like that. Very simple. Okay, this is your first configuration. Okay, now it's it is like a GPT, okay? It also like a G GPT, like, like someone go to chat GPT and write something here and it get the same miss, the same reply as your basic agent. So if you want to add new tools like Gmail, okay, to send email to people, okay, like that, you need now to go here and create a system message okay for your agent okay create system message but sometimes system message is very hard or very complicated okay sometimes when we want to create a system message here sometimes we, we get a scheme shot like that and we go to gpt and ask help here write a system message for us and it write it okay after that we copy it and we go to the uh, agent and we paste it here okay but with deep seek we'll do it very quickly and simply let me show you first you must to add a new agent here okay a new agent here okay and now you want to add deep seek okay but here you need to create a new credential okay like gpt how to do that you must go to deepseek.com and go to api platform and here you'll create you'll get a api you need to up to add money let me show you okay here you need if you get access here in deepseek and you you need to add your credit card okay you choose two dollar and you add your card and you pay and you will get this access if you go to api key you can create a new api name your api and click on create api and you get a code okay this code you must go to your anytime with it okay here you can paste the code here and save it and you create a credential for your deep seek okay here as a create credential you have two models of deep seek we have deep seek chat and deep seek resume if you want to check them here in this page you have deep seek chat that is deep seek v1 and deep seek resume that is deep seek r1 okay if you want to compare them with chat dbt v3 deep seek deep seek v3 is like gbt 40 and deep seek r1 is like gbt uh, 01 and so on okay but in my opinion deep seek r1 is better than 01 for gbt okay after that in your any return if you choose your model you have some option here it, you haven't to add those options but here we have simply temperature okay you have you can change the temperature and each one if you increase or decrease this temperature you have data here okay coding math if you set it in o zero and data cleaning analysis if you increase the value for a one okay and you have and so on this is temperature and use case by default we have temperature in one okay so 
if you don't add temperature you have one here after that you have configured your deep seek and you want now deep seek it help you to create a system message a very good prompt for your agent okay you don't need now to go here to create a prompt you can close this window and deep seek will help you to create a prompt okay let me hide this and here it is here we will create a system message for deep seek okay here you can just add this text i have created and i explain you how it works okay this is the text here it is, it is the simple text you are an ai agent responsible for creating clear and actionable font that gives a personal assistant in completing a assignment task okay we said it you are an ai agent that create a prompt for over ai agent so deep seek here will create a prompt to give to this ai and this ai without put a prompt system here will work with it and done this task okay so let's go to test okay and we have and we have also add okay delete this okay let me delete this and uh, just keep this here is today's that personal assistant my use okay we want to give that to our personal assistant our ai because sometimes it don't know which date used to send message or check our google calendar so here i want to rename this agent okay like that and we'll create a prompt for us and let's go to to check okay if i click on open chat okay this is the message hi can you send message to us at kabatron.gmail.com ask us if he can come tomorrow to continue the workflow configuration on anything okay make sure sign off the email with the on my name okay and send okay, okay we have an error here because here and uh, we must define below and now this ai must use the output from deep seek okay so if you check this prompt this output you'll notice that if you do one click here you'll notice that deep seek has created a amazing text format for this uh, ai agent let's retry it okay and let me rewrite the text and send okay let me check if i go to my gmail mail here if i do one click you'll see hi asan i have this meta i find you well are you available to come tomorrow my we have this date because we have add in the prompt here in the uh, we have add the today date okay so and uh, the ai agent can understand which date use okay so to continue the workflow or anything but here we have my name but the the format the text isn't very readable okay here i will explain you how you can how you can edit this uh, message to get a beautiful readable text you'll see it is very very awesome amazing okay here we want to get a beautiful message isn't like this okay so you can go to the text and write a, a you must use html css format to, to create a beautiful mail and add friendly friendly emoji like that very simple and let's try again okay so if i go there and i go to chat and let me reload all delete okay and resend the message i forget you can send the message okay 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 the same message in the first you'll get this format it isn't readable it is very hard to read okay 
so in the next we'll see which will be the next format because here we have changed and add some text we have add a, a html css format okay to get a beautiful format let me okay the point is go to the agent and the mail has been sent okay 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 let's check if i go to my mail reload i have the next mail okay now look at it it's very different from the here the mail is like that here we have the name first and the this second message in in over line and we have this okay and in the end we have my name with emoji here it isn't very good to read okay so you can add more option in deep seek okay you can go in your anything okay and seed and uh, increase this because you write a html css code so you can add color okay you can say with color to create a beautiful with color okay so if i check this again let me delete and now i want it add color someone somewhere in my mail to get a beautiful okay let's send okay it's send. okay if you check the output here let me show you the output of the pointer you'll see you have a, a html css code doc type it is a html and css code okay so deep seek write a code to send to this agent okay now if we go to check our mail okay this is the different format by deep seek the first is like that we have the hello text and also we have the subject and it is difficult to read okay if i go do it like that it is on one line okay people can read it easily and on the second message we have a better uh, format of mail okay people can read it easily the name i hope you are doing well and the message and in the end we have our name in the last it is very very beautiful okay because in this last with this week we add color in the height we have the name which is big and we can read it uh, correctly and it is a beautiful message and we have our name with emoji it is very very beautiful and this is possible because we have add deep seek here and we can go to this message message and see that we want if you want to add color we can see this here if you want to do it like we want we can see this here and now we can add a new tool here like google calendar google calendar here a new tool and choose connect create a new credential connect your google calendar okay you must connect the same uh, account here to your google calendar and this way you will see your different calendar okay this is where we create a calendar you do one click here and you create a calendar like that it's very simple and now we can find all calendar you have i choose this and here you can click here to the the ai will configure it you want to add a description to your calendar and you want to add a title okay and you you check those and it's finished you have a create event you have your calendar so i want to send this same message and ask him to to add this event to my calendar the first is hi can you send message to us cabatron and and so on and add this session this planning to my calendar okay let me make sure you see of the email and so on and let me add tomorrow at and let me add 9 am okay 
at 9 a.m. Okay, I want it add this planning to my calendar. Okay, and I, I have already choose the name here, Model Studio, and I want to add this to my calendar. So DeepSeek must create a beautiful event, send it to this agent and will send. So let's try. Let's try. Do one click. I haven't specified a title for my calendar. I haven't specified description for my calendar. DeepSeek here, agent, the text say, you are an agent responsible for create, train and actional font that give a person as a completing a tax. Okay, this prompt will allow to create a title and description for the event which will be in my calendar. Okay, also this prompt will allow ag again to write a beautiful email. So with this seek, you can create with only one prompt, create different prompt for this agent. However, when we create wizard, when I create my AI agent wizard this seek, always I add a tool. I must go there to add the new text. Okay, it's it is very very. I delete. I delete, but it's good. <laughs> Let me check. First, I have this event to my calendar. Let me check my calendar. It is nine. If I do double click, you have work configuration in Oniten. The title has been sent by DFC and the description is here. Let me check my mail. If I go to my mail in zero minute, hi has I hope you are done. Okay, 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 and so on, and it's finished. Okay, so this is a easy way to create a prompt when you use DFC. It's very, very helpful. You must check it, you must try it. It's very simple. Once you understand it, your work become very simple for you. So this is all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll create another uh, tutorial, another video to explain how maybe you can add many agents. Let me show you. If I go there and add a new agent here, okay, I can get an agent here and also another agent here. And maybe I can send data in in a, a vector in Superbase or a vector store and use DeepSeek to control all agents here. Okay, see you next to a new tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share.